reduce government spending. I hope everyone understands that high levels of debt slow down the rate of growth of the GDP, of the economy, and that means fewer jobs are created. If our goal is jobs, we have to stop spending over a trillion dollars more than we take in every year. And so, and so to do that, I'm going to eliminate every non-essential, expensive program I can find. That includes Obamacare. And I'm going to work to reform and save... He has a whole bunch of unhappy fans. Uh, you, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of unhappy fans. Are you and really interrupting? That, like I said before, is not good on his behalf. Because, you know, the senior citizens were counting on him. Now, the next topic. I'm pretty sure many of you watched the debate the other day. And he said, he said a lot. He flip-flopped a lot, too. Um... What did he say? Something about money. Of course, money. He said he wasn't going to spend five, what, trillion dollars? And yeah, but 18 months ago, he was saying the total opposite. Um, our education system, he is going to, you know, mess all that up, too. Now, I want to talk about something kind of personal for us women. He said he wants to get rid of, you know, us women having abortion. I found another article on ProCon.org and he says that it should only be legal, or abortion should only be legal in cases of rape, incest, mother's health, and mother's health. Now, women should practice safe sex and some women are on BC. Now, sometimes BC birth control may not always work, and sometimes condom, you know, may break, and you may end up pregnant. And say you weren't prepared to have a baby, and you're over the age of 20, you have to keep the baby, and not everybody is financially stable to have a child. That's my case. 